using the Casper network for their NFTs because they're mutable, they're upgradable. One great use is the YSAT.Space constellation launched with SpaceX. What's up guys, Kevin Cage here with another crypto update. In today's video, we're going to dive back into Casper network with its native token CSPR. Welcome to the channel guys and big thank you to all that hit the like button and subscribe. If this video gets a lot of likes, I'll be sure to do more Casper videos. So we've been talking about Casper for well over a year at this point and if you want to check out the links in the top of this YouTube video description, I'll include some must-see content going over the rich technological features of this smart contract platform along with some massive partnerships that are in the works currently with some of the world's biggest companies. I have a Casper staking tutorial right there linked in the pinned comment along with the video description. And you can purchase Casper either on Uphold, and the good thing about Uphold is that you can earn over 9% APY staking, so APY is compounding, so that's great. The only downside is you cannot withdraw your Casper yet. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I do not believe that Uphold lets you take your Casper off the exchange just yet. So what am I doing? Currently, I use Maxi, and there's times when the volume is even higher, therefore it's actually cheaper, and I get a better deal on my Casper with a tighter spread than even KuCoin. So I'm a US resident and I'm actually able to KYC with Mexi with no issues and if you don't KYC that's fine because you can still withdraw up to 10 Bitcoin every 24 hours. So I decided to KYC and just sent them my driver's license just so I could up that amount but I think that's more than enough. So the exchanges, the Casper videos, and the staking tutorial will be linked in the video description. Now I really like Casper because keep in mind that this asset is not on any tier 1 exchanges. Yes, we're on KuCoin, but we have yet to be listed on Gemini, which also already posted a blog on Casper last year. We're yet to be listed on Kraken, FTX, Binance, Binance US, and Coinbase. And you'll notice here on MarketCapOf.com, I'm comparing the market capitalization of Casper if it had the same market cap as Solana. And keep in mind during this bear market, even Solana is far away from its previous all-time high price. So even using this metric while Solana is down bad, that's still over a $1 Casper. Now a lot of people like Solana and I wish you guys well, I just don't want to buy anything that in the past couple years since May 2020 from that low to the high has done over approximately a 500x return, over a 50,000% increase from 51 cents to $260. Now during this bear market from the all-time high price on CoinTrader of Solana, it's dropped about 89-90%, very similar to Algo, HBAR, even QNT. QNT did drop 90% before getting that big retracement. Now with people like Sam Bankman-Fried backing Solana, it could probably be here to stay. I'm just much more interested buying something that is a lot closer to its all-time low price. Even looking at Solana today, we can see that we're still up over 5,600% from the all-time low. Looking at the Casper price chart, born in a bear market from its all-time low price, we're sitting about 112% up, rather than 5,000% up. Now historically, and keep in mind I still think that we are relatively early in Algorand and HBAR, Algo from its all-time low did about a 20x return, whereas HBAR did over a 50x return. I know the tokenomics are different, but when all is said and done, the supply of Casper and Algorand is relatively similar. So looking at Casper today with a $500 million market cap, now could I see Casper in the future, in the years ahead, reaching a $50 billion market cap? Yes, I could. Remember in 2021, during the bull run, projects in the top 20, even the top 30, they had a $50 to $80 billion market cap. This has already happened before. Now a few good things, looking at CSPR.Live, one of the block explorers for Casper, we can see the circulating supply. Most projects might only have 10%, 30%, or 50% in circulation today. Casper looks way better because we're almost at 93% of tokens in circulation. All of the public and private sales are done, less dumping. See the APY which compounds is over 10% per year for staking right on chain helping secure and validate transactions. And the most important part that is often overlooked is this. Total stake bonded, 8.6 billion. Approximately 76% of the total supply is locked up, being staked, not in circulation. Now if you go to casperstats.io on the mobile version, you can see the current holders of Casper. There are currently 88,000 Casper holders. And Cliff Sarkin of Casper made a really interesting point in one of his latest interviews. He said that CoinList, for example, has 30,000 Casper accounts, but when pulling that data for even Casper stats, it only shows as one account. So taking the 30,000 plus accounts on CoinList and adding it to the 88,000 Casper holders already takes the current number of Casper holders to approximately 118,000. 
Now, if you're new to the channel and you're unfamiliar with Casper and you want to get a better understanding of its potential, its partnerships, what it has in the works, and why I'm excited, be sure to check out the videos in the YouTube video description. This is Cliff Sarkin of Casper, and I specifically love this one of Scott Walker discussing the potential of Casper. And here's another example, a NASDAQ company, WiseKey, right here, using the Casper network for their NFTs because they're mutable, they're upgradable. One great use is the Ysat.space constellation launched with SpaceX. And big shout out to Amir.Casper for this interview with Scott Walker. If you guys have time to watch this, I highly recommend it. You can follow Amir at Cryptoverse right there. Okay, so let's dive into some cliff notes regarding Casper network, and then I want to talk about some massive partnerships. The Future Proof Blockchain, Casper Network is a decentralized layer one proof of stake blockchain that is built off the original Casper CBC specification. Casper is designed to accelerate enterprise and developer adoption of blockchain tech today and evolve to meet the needs of the future. Right on their website, you can read through their ecosystem and understand all the big things coming for DeFi, a variety of uh, bridges with Dot .oracle and Ferrum Network to a handful of blockchains already. So we have cross-chain DEXs like Swappery, we have the Friendly Market, which is an NFT marketplace. You have different explorers and oracles right here. You can see what they're working on in the gaming and NFT space. And another great place to start would be under the case studies, and this is on Casper.network. And remember that Casper also presented at Davos, the World Economic Forum, the 1% of the 1%, alongside some of the biggest Web3 companies. And just to emphasize how big of a deal it is for Casper to be presenting in Davos alongside some of the biggest companies, including Kraken, Verizon, and IBM. Typically in attendance includes over 120 billionaires, 50 plus heads of state, 40 plus CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, we're going to touch on this later, and 200 plus family offices. Now, as we shared in last week's video, we have a liquidity gap on the Casper price chart at 3.6 cents. My question is this, are we going to fill this gap now or later? Because notice, looking at Casper side by side with Q&T, if it were to simply follow suit, the next level per this bull flag would be $0.07 cents for Casper. Now in 2023, if we followed the Quant or Q&T price chart like for like, we could potentially see $0.11 cents up to $0.15. Cents. So thus far for the Casper price chart, notice that we have in fact hit this level to perfection, wicking right to that level. And then the next zone would be at $0.07 cents right around this double bottom, right there. And this is something we've been sharing for a few months at this point. So I have the same expectations as I shared back in September for the Casper price chart. Looking at that zone, of course, we smashed this $0.05 cent level. Now we're just below. We have a gap at $0.3.6. Cents. Do we close that or are we going to do a big rally before that next level right there, $0.07 cents even? And just for some perspective, Q&T did a very strong V-shaped recovery since June. In just a few months, Q&T pumped 460% from this low, whereas Casper is just up about 100%. Now, if Casper did the exact thing, which is highly improbable, but just as an example, it would reach the 1618 because Q&T hit that level perfectly, and that would be equivalent to 16 cents for Casper. So I tweeted this a few days ago side by side just showing you that exact zone for Casper versus QNT using the March-April high, both coming up to the 382 Fibonacci retracement, backtesting that previous level, also surpassing the 200-day moving average. Especially when you consider that Casper 2.0 is coming in quarter one of 2023. With the Zoog protocol, the new and improved consensus mechanism, and a bunch of other more powerful features. Having smart contracts and NFTs that are mutable, that can be changed and upgraded, is a no-brainer for enterprises. The people behind Casper, the engineers, the devs, the CTO, the CEO, the co-founders, the investors, they are very smart people. They understand what enterprises want, and they have decades of experience in IT. And notice that smart contracts here have the ability to pay for themselves. That is next level. Another comparison that I heard Cliff say in a previous interview, and I think it's perfect, is comparing Phantom to Casper. So Phantom was in a building phase for a couple years, going back to 2018 all the way up until December 2020. And it was really just sideways, up, down, up, down. It didn't do much. During this period of 800 days, it was in the building phase. They were building DEXs. They were building out the entire DeFi ecosystem. Now, this is not financial advice, and nothing I share here is financial advice, but pretty crazy to see Phantom from the March 2020 low do over a 1,000x return. Technically, over a 1,700x return. Now, this bear market's been brutal. I'll be happy in the future with even like a 2050x from the low. Now, one of the best AMAs, and this is actually written right on Casper.network, is an AMA with Huobi or Uwobi, and this is awesome. So we have Cliff Sarkin along with Ralph right here of Casper, and this has it all. 
I'm going to link this in the top of the YouTube video description, so many resources, and a breakdown of what is Casper Network. Even right here, Casper Labs has 75 full-time employees, whereas most crypto projects might have 5, maybe 15. Looking at Casper Labs on LinkedIn, we can see there's 98 employees, and if you have a Crunchbase account, I would highly recommend checking out Casper and digging deeper into them and some of the investors behind this project. Believe it or not, a lot of the guys behind Casper were there when Ethereum was born. A lot of the guys were mining Bitcoin before anybody knew what Bitcoin was. I think their network is incredibly strong, specifically in Switzerland. They also have great relationships throughout Southeast Asia and also the UAE. Now remember, at Davos, Casper was side by side with IBM showing examples at the World Economic Forum's event of utility between IBM and Casper working with Hyperledger, and shortly after, Hyperledger added Casper Labs to their partners. And remember how big this group is, the DTCC, the Federal Reserve before the Fed existed, Accenture for digital transformation, we have IBM, Casper is on IBM's website. You have American Express, you have some of the biggest companies, um, you know, T-Mobile is actually a subsidiary of Deutsche Telekom right there. Quant and Ripple are here as well, and we can see Casper Labs. Also IPWE, another Casper partner. You have R3, Ripple, the BSN, based in China, another Casper partner, by the way, Tech Mahindra, Verizon, and I've done some personal speculation looking at Smart Dubai, and they actually have a blockchain strategy. So my bet, not financial advice, is that Smart Dubai, being on the Hyperledger Foundation, could potentially be working with some projects that are also here, whether it's Quant, Hedera, Casper, Ripple. You have central banks, the world's biggest companies, Bank of England and the Bank of France. And right on IBM.com, you can type in this title, Casper Labs at Davos by IBM Blockchain Services. And this is the VP of Blockchain Services over at IBM complimenting Casper and saying we are excited with our partnership. And if you guys have time, be sure to check out the NFT-based contracts, Casper's new CEP78 contract. And the cool thing about Casper is it's building its own virtual machine. As Meta, the CTO of Casper has said, they are not piggybacking off of Ethereum. They are building their own from the ground up. Here's what I was referring to as well. This is linked in the video description, seeing DeFi, so we have .oracle, and we have bridges too. Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Ethereum, Avalanche, Phantom, and other EVM-compatible chains. You can also swap ERC-20s right on Casper's network. You can also see the ERC-20 token slot or tab on Casper Live. Here's an example of Casper's DeFi ecosystem thus far, and remember that BitGo, one of the biggest custodians, also supports Casper. And right in that Casper AMA linked in the video description, it has all these infographics if you want to read through those too. Just amazing information. And keep in mind, I am very heavy in Algo and HBAR, but it doesn't mean that I'm not open to looking at other competitors and other layer ones in this ecosystem. I believe the future is going to be multi-chain. If one of my assets happens to pop or explode before another, I'm open to taking profits, getting my initial investment out, or even taking those profits and putting it into the next lagging asset. And I personally believe there's going to be bridges. I remember when I was snooping around in Casper's GitHub and I posted it on Twitter looking at building bridges between Casper and Algorand. And I'm not sure if that's still in the works, but that is just one example. And one of the bigger problems that exists in today's crypto ecosystem is that there's a few select programming languages. There are millions of developers that have not entered the crypto market because it would require them to learn a new programming language. So what's the benefit of Casper? It is extremely simple to develop with Casper. There's open architecture in essentially any programming language, so any developer can come over and learn easily how to begin building on Casper. So this is going after enterprise adoption on a macro scale. This is not going to be some tiny use case. And right now I'm just trying to be conservative. We are still under a $1 billion market cap. Let's cross that before we talk about some bigger moon targets and just you know step by step each year kind of review the developments. But is it possible to reach trillions? Yes, absolutely. Especially if you consider Scott Walker's analogy with Kusama and Polkadot, and if Ethereum continues to grow year over year over the next decade, man, anything is possible. Currently going through Casper, comparing it to Hyperledger, going over Hedera, Solana, Polygon, Phantom, EOS, Algorand, Ethereum. You can see this infographic right here, and Casper truly does have it all. Casper's smart. They are a hybrid solution. Public, private, permissioned, permissionless. Upgradeability, weighted keys so you can delegate keys. They've thought of everything. So currently total wallet accounts over 86,000. We can see delegators over 18,000. Connected nodes over 200 and there's 100 validators. The global blockchain technology market is projected to grow at a compounded annual growth rate or CAGR of 85% reaching more than 1.4 trillion by 2030. 
94% of Fortune 500 executives have begun planning blockchain initiatives. 89% of Fortune 500 execs believe that the next 10 years of Web3 innovation will define the next 100 years of business. Absolutely. And 75% of these global executives fear a loss of competitive advantage if they don't adopt blockchain technology. Yep, and they're going to choose the one that is in front of their face that is easiest to adopt. And guess what? There's Casper Association, there's Casper Labs, with a bunch of employees and additional funding rounds in the years ahead, so they have the money. I like finding projects that have millions, if not $100 million of funding behind them so that they're built to survive this bear market. And I personally believe that Casper will easily survive the rest of this bear market. Remember, IPWE is one use case, guys. Casper Labs built an NFT-based chain of custody solution. IPWE has public patent records that are being used on Casper's blockchain as NFTs. They're being tokenized. So intellectual property and patents are created, tokenized, and securely stored as non-fungible tokens, making these patents traceable and tradable. Every single industry is being impacted, and I'm looking at the big use cases, the enterprise adoption. They've helped IPWE acquire over 300 new clients in less than four months, probably much more now. You have assets like Cardano going from under two cents to three dollars. That's over a 160x, and Casper has yet to even awaken. And as we shared in this video, in quotes from Casper, in a couple of weeks, they are to launch a couple million patents on Casper's blockchain with IPWE. And right in this interview with Rekt Vojak and Neve of Casper, she actually says, in quotes, we are probably under NDAs with at least 45 now companies, and the majority of them are Fortune 500 companies. And remember what I shared in the beginning with Davos and how many Fortune 500s are there. And here are a few Casper partners. So I put these two pictures together and edited this just to share on Twitter. And I put a Casper logo. Commercial marketplaces. We have governments, financial services. Um, remember the blockchain service network in China. There's smart city use cases. So I just listed all of this out if you want to screenshot this and zoom in. And I also tweeted a few that were in that list. A major U.S. insurance company, global telecom payments processor, the largest auto company in Switzerland, leasing contracts. Smart city technology in China with the blockchain-based service network. And remember that Casper Labs was chosen to become the blockchain of choice for the city of Fuzhou in China with the BSN on Hyperledger next to Ripple, Quant, Hedera, and Casper. Augmented reality, virtual reality, internet of things, NFT verified certificates, um, energy markets, electric grids, and Web3 use cases, sports, tickets, gaming, supply chain solutions, ID or identity management, NFT marketplaces, renewable energy, you name it. Even right here, Rectvojack emphasizing 45 plus NDAs. And I believe Renal, the CEO, said that if the companies agree that they want to share that they're with Casper and Casper agrees, they can both go public with that information. So they can change their mind about their NDAs and come public as long as both parties agree that they're okay with sharing. Healthcare, financial services, manufacturing, supply chain, public sector, retail, energy. And if you guys caught those videos linked in the video description, I also go in depth with a few other use cases just like in the beginning of this video with the intro, I included the SpaceX use case. Also, XRP Marshall, thank you for all the tags and the great information you've been sharing. I'm going to dive into this, and frankly, I'll probably just do another Casper video going over a lot of the research that you shared. Um, I have a bunch of tabs open, man, so thank you so much for the tags. I am bookmarking them in my Casper folder. We can see Ledger Luke. The Casper network was developed by ex-Ethereum programmers alongside coders from Microsoft, Google, and Adobe. Because Casper is designed for enterprises with the right vision and by the right team. This is why it's going to revolutionize the cryptocurrency space. And once again, we saw Ethereum do its merge. Now does Ethereum have more utility, more money in it, more dApps built on top of it today? Yes. But I'll say this with complete certainty, Casper, in terms of technology and features and how it was built from the ground up correctly with the future in mind to be future proof, is five years ahead of Ethereum. Now I hold Ethereum and I still think it's here to stay, but what I do believe is that Casper is years ahead of ETH. When ETH wants to go to 3.0 in five to six years, who knows how long that will take. Casper already has the live features available today, and enterprises are paying attention. And guess what? Casper will be speaking at Davos again in January. But all right, guys, I am pooped. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for future updates, and I will catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate hitting the like button and subscribing. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, my link tree is linked right in the top of this YouTube video description. With all links, crypto resources, and discounts, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>